Hey, it's just so Trish. Shh. I just got the kids to bed. Mamas who are fixing to start this homeschool journey and their babies are going to start kindergarten in the next five years. Let's talk. Okay, Mama, I know you. I've talked to you so many times. I've talked to you at church. I've talked to you in emails. I've met you so many times. You are not alone. There's all kinds of women that are there with you. And I know the fear you're going through. I know it. I lived it and messed it all up. So the common question I get a lot is, Getting ready, we're like three years old, four years old with your oldest. You have several children, you know, and I really wouldn't say that this video is for the mom with one child. You guys might glean information from this, but at the same time, you're in a totally different playing field. So an email I get a lot in a lot of, um, I hate to say consulting counsel. I like to give counsel, a lot of counsel I give is on what to start your child out with and when. And there's so much pressure as a brand new homeschool mom, most of it from ourselves, not typically as much from our family as we think. And we're just so terrified, like, don't screw this up. Don't do it. You know, and we feed off that and we worry about structure and schedule and curriculum and our kids three, three, and we're worried about this and we're consumed at four and we got to pick the right preschool and I need to be on a schedule and I got to, and we are terrified. So, um, it's for you, mama, mama, I'm talking to you. So I get a lot like, Trish, what curriculum would you use? I have a three-year-old, four-year-old, whatever. I have this child, that child. I'm looking for more structure, you know. And I just want to tell you first and foremost, because this was actually told to me and I did not take the advice. And now from my own experience, I will say it and want to shake you. Anyways, these are your fun years. It is still fun. Trust me, it's still fun. You don't have to be anywhere. You don't have to do anything yet. And these days never come back. Before your oldest crosses that threshold into like that kindergarten status, these days are sacred. Guard them and don't rush them. Don't rush them. I mean, honestly, and don't rush them in preschool. If you're a mom here who doesn't plan to homeschool your kid, don't shove your poor baby in preschool. They swear it does all this junk. It does not do it. Just keep them home and love them. Now, if you're not really interested in them, yeah, send them to preschool to be great. So, you know, I look back on those days and I was forcing my poor child who wasn't ready yet into an early curriculum that I should have waited six months to start. And I look at the chaos and just everything and how it burnt me out. And at the time, at the time I had three children, um, when my child was, my oldest was not yet in kindergarten. By the time my oldest was ready for kindergarten, I had four kids. I had a five-year-old, a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and a baby. Four kids. And to say I was a little overwhelmed, I was so overwhelmed. And yet, I wanted to emulate school because I come from public school, so I wanted to emulate school. I made it horrible. I burnt out, and my child went to public school. Totally defeated the purpose. If I could go back today... I would tell my former self what everybody else was telling me. Just have fun. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the spelling. Don't worry about the reading. Don't worry about the numbers. It will come naturally through play. And this is the time that you have the most quiet, precious, 
harmony in your house, hopefully as much as you can have if you got a two or three year old running around. But really, there's so much you can do. Things I would do in a non-structured kind of organic way. I would do, if there's story toddler times at the library, go do them. You are going to be the loudest people in the library. I've been there. We've been the most obnoxious people in the library. Just go do it. Go and have those times. There's typically a gymnastics thing for toddlers. Go do that. One of the churches had a clap, tap, and jingle music movement time. Go do that. Go see what's involved that you can get plugged into two or three outings a week. Go enjoy the splash park if you have one, unless it snows and it's winter. Don't do that. Trish didn't say that. Um, but go do those things. If you are at a point of die hard, I need a curriculum workbook. Let me warn you. There are curriculum manufacturers, publishers, whatever you want to call them, that has made curriculum. They haven't made curriculum because it's going to make your child better. They made it because they know somebody will buy it. And it's made for that only. You know, it will look like, promise you, all kinds of stuff. And I'm not saying that you can't teach your child to read. There's people who do it. There's people who get good books and they, you know, like 100 Easy Lessons. I've got, a, I got some reading reviews that I've done on a few programs. You can do that if you feel the need to. But listen, you don't. It's the end goal. Whether you teach them to read at three years old, or if you teach them to read in first grade, whether it takes them to third grade to figure out, in the end they can read in se their senior year. So, some people will disagree. Yeah, it's kind of late third grade, but first grade's a good time because you would like to use all six years to be able to say, we need to go have a D-A-T-E tonight. And not have anybody know that you're going to go have some I-C-E-C-R-E-A-M at the dinner table. Because it will go bad if that child can read them word letters. Because let me tell you, it was a shock to me and my husband's system the first time at the dinner table when I went to spell one of our little private conversations. And the child figured out what I was saying. It was a whole depressing moment. It was bad. Because our whole life ended. On our personal communication, I'm getting a little teary-eyed and emotions of remembering that. That was so long ago. But anyways, there is curriculum out there. And it's big, thick, and it promises you all this junk. Don't go there. My favorite ones, if you feel the need, if you feel the need to do something that feels like curriculum Rod and Staff is by far my favorite in Christian light. The two of them together are my favorite. So the reason is, the reason is, is Rod and Staff have created these little workbooks, these little fun books. And the books, the, it's an ABC, so there's three of them. I don't know where B is. Left. And about three is a beginning activity for your three and four year olds. It is really just some basic things. This is great to find out if you have a child that will sit and do a workbook. Um, you can see it's a lot of just tracing. You can color it. It gives you like a little note to the parents. And... You know, basic one, two, three counting. Three. This is what three-year-old work is. Not the crazy. This is three. Um, I can't remember if B says for both or whichever. And then you have color counting cut for four-year-olds. I really love these. These are one of my favorite things they do is they put these shapes for the colors and then they teach basic colors and some counting and there's cutting but again this is this is four this is how they treat four-year-olds and I really have to say this is one of my favorite things I love about the Mennonite programs 
the Mennonite curriculums that come out. So after that aspect, they have a kind of kindergarten program that's called ABCs, one, two, threes. And I don't have all of the books because we've used a lot of them. They go up. So here we go. Here we go. This is the F book, but A through F. So it's Adventures with Books, Bible Pictures of Color, Continuing with Numbers, Do It Carefully, Everywhere We Go, Finding Answers. So I love the Bible one. We just pick out ones you want to do. One of the big things is they put this color wheel in the back. All the numbers in the book relate to that color, so you're it's a little bit independent. And I have a book that I read from, the reader I read from, and then they color the pictures. So that's the Bible part. And it just is a lot of fun things to cut and color the whole nine yards. And that's all it is. And it gets, you know, and it moves through, and it moves through kindergarten curriculum, and you're counting, and you're doing things of that nature. Let's see. They do have some really cool things. Um, usually, oh, this one has, hold on, hold on. All right, so like this one has a monkey, so you can put a monkey puppet together. This one has, let's count the monkeys. There's like usually a story within it, and then there's like a puppet that happens. Oh, here it is. So like they'll have these things that you cut and color and you can make like a diagram, diagraph, what, dermogram, I don't know what it's called. A diorama, a diorama I think is kind of like it. So you could do this. Okay, would I tell you to go have your four year old study the jungle? No, but I'd go get some cool books at the library and do it. Okay, what I've learned doing these, and if you are the mom like feeling like you need to start emulating school I would try and like plan out like, okay, I have a planner because I have a four year old that's planner days. We're going to do book a pages one through three on Monday. And then we're going to go to the library Tuesday, Wednesday, we're going to do pages four through seven and review pages two. you know, don't do that with these at all. Please don't make your life joyful. Go at these kind of like coloring in a coloring book. One of my saving graces and the things I really regret um, moving out of so quickly, there used to be this beautiful routine to my life before I had four children. I had a beautiful routine. Even with four children, I still had a good routine. We'd wake up in the morning. We would do breakfast. They'd watch TV as I cleaned up from breakfast. We would sit at the table. I would pull construction paper out and we would just make stuff and draw things. And usually it meant I sat down and we drew and we did some stuff at the table. And then they would continue on. I would, we'd play outside for a while. I would make them lunch. I fed them and this beautiful thing happened. They'd all go to bed. And it would be so quiet from noon to four o'clock every day. And my kids still went to sleep. Even now I can put them to bed at four o'clock and they'd wake up at six, eat dinner and go back to bed. If I could get them to take a nap. I did not appreciate that beautiful days that I had. <laughs> now I look back and I know, oh my goodness, those were great. Okay, so... Just enjoy, do projects, have fun. One of my favorite ways, if you decide to wait and really put off and do not do any school until first grade, everybody will be okay. Everybody's going to be great. If you want something more that isn't this kind of thing or cheaper, these are kind of, these. I mean, honestly, these are really cheap. Um, I will say these are an awesome deal. You can buy some of them through Christian Light Education. So that's clp.org. And you can buy some of the other ones at um, Milestone Publications. I believe. 
I think so. Or you can just type like Rod and Staff curriculum to buy because they are made by Rod and Staff. But Milestones is, I'm thinking, the website that sells them. They're cheap. They're like, that's all I'm spending. Good deal. So, um, I know it's a late night. I'd look, it probably show. Anyhow, and I'm going to start yawning. <sighs> Keeping it real. I really did come to you at the end of the day. That's why my eyes are so red. Because this is probably when the chance that you've got to watch me. So I figured we come sister to sister time. If you need something that's a little bit more and you want to be more interactive than just some, kind of something coloring book, but yet still feel you are somewhat structured, do the easy peasy all in one homeschool, the getting started one. Getting started one is going to go through your alphabet and learn your sounds. Videos are linked to it. Projects are linked to it. It's free. Just printing paper is what you're going to do. That is a great one. I have a little guy who's starting to show some interest at three. So hopefully he won't for a while. But if he starts moving interest, I've already printed up the paper so I can just pull out. Here we go. Not a big deal. Um, some of my favorite things that I do like to use that are getting us where we need to be without it being curriculum-ish. Just please just stay happy and stay away from curriculum-ish feelings. Um, Leap, Leapfrog Letter Factory is a good one. abcmouse.com. I am so impressed with and if you buy a year subscription, it's not bad at all. And it does up to three kids. And I mean, not that people are looking for an electronic babysitter or anything. But man, oh man, can it be an electronic babysitter? It is really good for that. Um, another one, too, is Starfall. There's a lot of interactive games in there. And they'll just sit there and watch. My son has learned a lot of different things at three at three, he doesn't even think he's learning. He just thinks he's using technology and playing on it when he shouldn't be. Mom's got a secondary plan there. Um, he was doing the U and it was like, uh, 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 and it has like little things going on. He jumps out of the seat and he's doing all the motions because he's watched it so many times. So he doesn't even clearly speak yet, but yet he is getting all of the sound. Okay, so I really have to go, and I hope this helps you. Definitely leave me questions, comments, but that's what I think. I think you can get away with doing nothing and enjoy this time and not feel guilt. Because if anybody asks you why you're not doing anything, just say, Trish said I didn't have to, and she knows. Whatever, they're never going to find me. Um, if you want to have something tangible so people don't judge, this is a great one to go with. Great one. It's not a lot of money. It's still fun and it's enjoyable and you will enjoy it too. If you want something, but you don't need to see it or look at it, easy peasy is a good one to go and add stuff on. Also doing the one plus one plus or the... Confessions of a Homeschooler, and a few other ones. They have these really cool packs they put together on different themes, and it's just kind of like little motor skills. I like those, but to be honest with you, it's a lot of stuff. And I found ABC Mouse does all that virtually, so it's stuff I don't have all over my house. So I liked it for that reason. So again, I hope this helps, and I hope it encourages you that you don't have to rush it because you might have three years until kindergarten because I, I mommy that has three years until kindergarten I know you I, I was you you know um you might be feeling like it's just around the corner you need to do some form of preschool Let teach that kid how to brush their own teeth and brush their hair and your life's gonna be a whole lot better especially if they wipe their own butt Phew. 
you can save reading for later because it'll make your life so much easier. That sense of independence. Teach them how to make their own peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You're going to have a much easier time sooner. Those are way more important life skills than knowing how to write your entire alphabet and knowing every sound of the alphabet. And Sesame Street does a great job. The other aspect is you're going to do fine. You are going to do a great job. And if you hit first grade or you're getting ready for first grade and you're like, oh my goodness, why did I listen to Trish? I can't believe I listened and I haven't done anything. And my kid doesn't really know how to read yet. What do I do? Just come back and message me. I'll, there's a great curriculum. I can hand it to you. You're not going to spend much time and you'll have that kid reading great. It'll be fine. Also, if you are doing pre-K or kindergarten, don't do more than 20 minutes at a time. Those poor kids don't have that ability. That's why so many of them are on drugs in the school system to make them sit. So anyways, like, share, and comment. Subscribe. Subscribe, please. Um, and let me know what you're going through. And I will be here to comment and talk back to you in the comment section. I do have a few reviews I've done on curriculums that I kind of hit on tonight and they'll be in the description box for you. So I hope this helps you. Mama, you're going to do fine. Love you. Peace out.